Welcome to our today's lesson whereby we are going to derive the shear stress equation for a rectangular section of a beam. Now here we have variation of uh, shear stress in beam cross section. So we have the rectangular beam section. Now for us to derive the shear stress equation for this uh, rectangular beam section, we are going to have this um, rectangular cross section with a breadth of B and a depth of D. We have the neutral axis and we all know that the neutral axis is uh, the point or the section where the center of gravity of the beam is located. Therefore, the center of the gravity of this beam section is at the center of this rectangular section and that's where the neutral axis passes. Now, from the neutral axis, above the neutral axis, we have the half the depth of the beam as well as below the neutral axis. Um, we have a section here whose distance from the neutral axis to its bottom is y. The center of gravity of this shaded region is bar y. That is the distance from the center of gravity of this shaded region to the neutral axis. Now, the area of this shaded region will be given by, therefore, area of the shaded region will be given by the breadth multiplied by its depth. And the depth of the shaded region is d over 2 minus y. The reason being, from the neutral axis to the top of this uh, section, we have d over 2. And then from the neutral axis to the bottom of this shaded region, we have y. So the remaining uh, section will be d over 2 minus y. Therefore, that is the cross-section uh, area of the shaded region. Now, remember, shear stress is given by shear force multiplied by cross-section of the area times bar y. Bar y is the distance from the neutral axis to the center of gravity of this shaded region. Divide this by the moment of inertia of the beam section multiplied by the blend of that beam. Therefore, uh, we are going to derive an equation for calculating the shear stress when given a rectangular beam section. This is a general shear stress equation. Now, uh, the cross-sectional area, we have it bar y, that is the distance from the neutral axis to the center of gravity of this shaded region, will be given by uh, now this center of gravity of the beam section divides the shaded region into two equal parts. Now the depth of this shaded region is d over 2 minus y. Therefore the section uh, above the center as well as the section below the center are equal and they will be equal to half the depth of this uh, shaded region. Therefore, we are going to have a half of d over 2 minus y. Now, bar y will now be given by uh, d over 2 minus half d over 2 minus y. Therefore, we are going to have d over 2 minus a half of d over 2 minus y. So, that is bar y. Now, solving the equation, we are going to have d over 2 minus 
when we open the brackets we are going to have d over 4 minus y all over 2 so this will lead us to bar y is equal to d over 2 when we open the brackets we are going to have minus d over 4 plus because minus times minus is positive plus y over 2 so this is going to be bar y is equals d over 2 minus d over 4 that is d over 2 uh, I mean that is d over 4 sorry not d over 2 plus y over 2 uh, factorizing this um, equation we are going to have a half into d over 2 plus y therefore that is the value of bar y so combining a and uh, bar y we are going to have a multiplied by bar y which will be equal to the idea is b into d over 2 minus y multiplied by a half of d over 2 plus y so this is a quadratic uh, equation and therefore you're going to have b multiplied by a half that is going to be b over 2 into d over 2 minus y d over 2 plus y that's going to be d squared divided by 4 minus y squared since a plus b a minus b usually results to a squared minus b squared so that is a bar y good from there the moment of inertia of a rectangular section the moment of inertia of a rectangular section is usually given by bd cubed divided by 12 so that is the moment of inertia of a rectangular beam section bd cubed over 12 now the shear stress of our beam section will be given by shear force multiplied by a bar y and a bar y is b over 2 into d squared over 4 minus y squared divide this by moment of inertia about the neutral axis which is b d cubed divided by 12 times b the breadth of the beam now <clears throat> the shear stress is maximum when y is equal to zero therefore when y is zero that means at the neutral axis at the neutral axis y is zero therefore y is equal to zero the shear stress is equal to maximum or the shear stress is maximum therefore for our maximum shear stress y is going to be zero so this is going to lead us to the shear stress will now be given by s multiplied by b over 2 multiplied by d squared all over 4 y is 0 divide this by b d cubed over 12 times b so this is going to be shear stress is equal to s b d squared over 8 multiplied by 12 over b d cubed 
multiplied by b. So simplifying this equation, we are going to have by 4 2 by 4 3 b and b will cancel out d squared will cancel out with d cubed and we are going to remain with a single d therefore the shear stress will be given by 3s divided by 2b now, S divided by BD, this is what we call mean shear stress. Mean shear stress. And therefore, the shear stress will be given by 3 over 2 multiplied by mean shear stress. Therefore, this is how to calculate the shear stress for a rectangular beam section. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, engineers, thank you very much for watching our video. If you have liked it, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell as well so that you always be the first person to be notified every time we upload a new video gives us a thumbs up and comments share as well to your friends and we are going to take this channel to the next level thank you very much